Oh, what the f Why didn't they show up? What the f Why didn't they show up on my radar? Oh! Okay, f you. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You <laughs> okay, this game is sick. Okay, I take it back. I like this game. I'm doing it. I'm fucking doing it. It's the USSR Atomic Heart game time, okay? The game is made by Russian devs, so it was like controversial, I guess, because everyone loves doing consumer activism. Before we get started, as soon as I saw this game, as soon as I saw the gameplay video, because I was very excited about it originally, because I thought it was going to be USSR Bioshock, so I got fucking excited to play because I love Bioshock. It's political, that sort of thing. But, you know... Somehow it's a little bit more cringe than that, I think, because it's Bioshock, but with Rick and Morty aesthetics. Like, does he not shut the f*** up, dude? Holy shit. What the f***? Nice city floats on the Icarus platform, a feat of modern science and technology. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Now get the hell out of here. It's just performing its function, Major. I'm sick to death of bots. Always up in my grill. English voice acting, right off the bat, very cringe. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. It's still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. I mean, this is pretty sick so far, though. I wow, love the... what a beautiful day. I do love the concept of the USSR, uh, you know, blossoming into this wonderful, What's up with your wonderful nation. They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? You got ladders everywhere. Oh, you did it. Oh, thanks a million. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. This is a historically accurate depiction of the USSR if the Cold War never You've happened. You've been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. I mean, There's a this... turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions for once. You kid. Info kiosk 55. Is that a robot? What the f a copy of the facility Herald, Comrade. Breakthroughs abound. You can't stop progress, huh? That's right. Doesn't it fill you with pride? Yeah, the like sun is smiling down Same on us because we reached our maximum revolutionary potential, comrades. This is a true worker's utopia, okay? Where people do not work to generate profits for a boss, for a capital owner, but for themselves. Wonderful experience. Near the Brown Plate Memorial for a tour. Learn about the history of Facility 3826. Hear about its great discoveries and pay your respects to all the victims of war. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You <laughs> been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. Let's go! Okay, this game is sick. Okay, I take it back. I like this game. Okay, so far so good. Wait, I missed the statue of Marx and Lenin. I mean, Lenin's statue is normal. Oh shit! Handsome lad, dude. Huh? I wonder why the game wasn't. Wait, there's gotta be a statue of Stalin in here. Huh. Huh. So the de-Stalinization happened? Oh, Lenin lived in this reality and then Stalin died? Never forget. Never forget anyone. Oh my god, what the f this is sick. Comrade Sechenov develops the polymers in nineteen thirty-six. 
a scientific miracle that determines the future of human course of civilization in the Soviet Union and abroad. A pivotal moment in the history of science and technology. The greatest minds in the Soviet Union, Sukhobliat, all of them outstanding scientists, including his comrades Vavilov, Zakharov, Korolev, all these other people join forces, forming a scientific group that lays the foundation for astonishing scientific and technological advancement in the USSR and beyond. You fought in the war, comrade Major. Did you just remember something? No, I can't remember shit. I've been drawing a blank ever since I got injured. It's like there's something stuck in my head, but I... I can't figure out what it is. Crispy Critters, man. Watch crispy language, Critters. Major. We're in a public place. Watch yeah, your whatever. language, Major. Don't say Crispy Critters. What the f***? Comrade Sechinov and Filomenko create the first Soviet polymer-based hydrogen cell. From this moment, the future of the Soviet robotics takes on global importance. Realizing that the fall is inevitable, the Third Reich strikes a terrible, shameful, inhuman blow against all mankind. The enemy unleashes a deadly virus called the Brown Plague into the world. The disease kills with incredible speed. There is no salvation for this monstrous pandemic and existing drugs are powerless against it in 1942. I like that they gave the robot a mustache. A worldwide state-sponsored program of the industrial and economic development is launched in the Soviet Union. The pride of Soviet science is created. Facility 3826. The apex of scientific progress in the home of the greatest scientists in the world. The collective 1.0 neural network. First global network brings together mankind's greatest achievements. Unbelievable scientific breakthrough for the Soviet Union. The Soviet cosmo cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin. Okay, well they put a little bit of they put a little bit of truth, you know, a, a nugget, just a grain of truth. Yuri Gagarin. I still can't believe the stars can be so close. It's as if I could reach out. I've got a question. Yes, comrade. How may I help? So, do you believe in aliens? If I had a ruble for every time I've been asked that question, I'd be a capitalist. But I hope that very soon we will fly to the stars and become aliens to other races. Huh. I never thought about it that way before. Thanks. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. He's just unnecessarily contentious towards this robots. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want. A university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example. And you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? I know Kung Fu. Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. I don't think this game is pro-communist, bro. I think it's basically the exact same as just Bioshock not being with pro libertarian. Scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer you know as a I conduit, mean? the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Oh. Activate the scanner, hold L all. Demon, be gone. <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Oh, Didn't it's so you corny. Say you were in a hurry just a moment ago. Shut your trap and keep scanning, would ya? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, 
Please continue with your mission. Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 386, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Sechenov, and this is Facility 386. Hello, welcome to your future. Today, we stand on the brink of the greatest events in the history of mankind. Report to the lobby of that high rise, Just adventure. one small step away, away from an amazing evolutionary victory that will profoundly change the world as we know it. Okay. No, I'm not exaggerating. Just look at how our beloved Soviet Union has been transformed in the last few decades. Thanks to my invention of neuropolymers and the process of mimetic adaption, it has now become possible to launch a worldwide, all-encompassing version of the Collective 2.0 network. At last, a network of humans and robots. Humans will be able to control machines with their thoughts alone, and finally, we will be free to forget the difficult, tedious drudgery of unskilled labor and dedicate ourselves to science. On behalf of all at Facility 3826, I present to you the device of the future. Oh my God, the they're all Soviet. Thought. It will allow human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all mankind together. There's no such thing as unskilled labor, and the fact that he said unskilled labor instead of like menial labor implies that this was uh, a game made by not leftists, but instead either he's like doing a giveaway or th that he's like, you know, actually a fake socialist or the game itself was written by uh, people who are not socialist at all. And they're just LARPing as socialists. Even the guy being like, oh, if I had a dollar, I would be a capitalist. Like that was, you know, that's corny, but that's definitely the type of like, yeah, they did the whole, like, rich means you would be a capitalist meme earlier, which could be lost in the translation, maybe, or I don't know. Uniting the intellect of all individuals into a powerful mind free of all boundaries. Thanks to the Thought Neural Connector, you will control robots with your mind. Mastering so glad to see you are taking it easy, speed. comrade Major. Accessing the car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. Individual it's been left with one of his bodyguards. You yeah, naturally. will no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment, and loudspeakers. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. I said the most leftist thing is that every joke is incredibly awful, and I agree. Today, and become Homo Futurum among the first. The future is already yours. Yo, pause, bro. Sus, sus, bro. Caught in 4K, dog. You said Homo Futurum. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Are they taller than me? Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. She looks good, bro. Yes, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Mommy, sorry. Mommy, sorry. Mommy, okay? I'm sorry. Fuck. Okay. Uh, I'm sold on the bots. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. It's very beautiful. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. The game now. is very visually appealing so far, I will admit. It, like, they, that is definitely sick. It's also cool as a concept because you rarely ever see, like, the perspective of America's designated enemies be at the forefront. Wait, this ain't a lot of what the fuck? Sure, it's a solid machine. Can't stop progress. What kind of fucking? This one gas doesn't wait until they're all running on electricity. That would be something. It's Volga.
Oh, damn. Top down, baby. Let's go. Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 yeah, with I just came from in one every get city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of politics. Oh, from the so we've got plenty of thought devices. No, go there back! Be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozios. How about some music? That sucks! That's more like it. Well, you said no politics, bro. Are you kidding me? I see you finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. They are good. Jawohl, mein Führer. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me what? in. What? Wait, what? Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Bro, is this literally like reverse Wolfenstein? Where instead, like, the USSR won and you're like a German asset or something? What the f*** is happening, bro? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way it's to remember Operation the days when facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by Bumblebee? Bro, you can't tell me the fucking writers of this game are not permanently brain broken by the corniest American fucking uh, cowboy movies, okay? That's how you do it. The atomic way. This guy literally sounds like Duke Nukem. Okay, everything he's saying is like fucking corny ass eighties, nineties action hero protagonist. Okay, whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Oh, it's Didn't so corny. You... I came to this game with the expectation that this was going to be like unbroken, untainted by like Western neoliberal degeneracy. I thought that these were going to be some fucking revolutionary motherfuckers who made a video game about the glorious USSR in a different future. Okay, fuck it. Even if it's like, you know, talking about how the Soviet, uh, the Soviet was, uh, lifestyle was awful, right? But even then, I thought at least the writing would have a very unique tint to it. As someone who grew up on Russian literature, growing up in Turkey, okay, Turgenev and the like, I understand that that is uh, very different and uh and it's very dark at times okay but i i thought that it would at least be different than like spoiled western neoliberal uh baby mode shit okay he just sounds like a the, the protagonist sounds like a literal shitty action hero even if they're not leftists, I thought that their perspective and their attitude and the and the protagonist, like, the vibes of the protagonist would be different, you know what I mean? Things that the protagonist finds to be cool, I thought would be different. I didn't realize he was going to be, like, an unlikable American action hero. It's not even his accent. It's his, his, it's his attitude towards everything. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. Oh, These are connected by magnetic Crossover. levitation or maglev ray. Crossover. This technology okay, was pioneered by the Chelame Design Department Give and a more personal of project of Dr. Lebedjansky. Yeah, more of that, please. Okay, I like that. Were you just criticizing Aiden for showing porn on stream? Directly yeah, but the kind of porn I show you Sechenov's is train porn. Center. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Major, Petrova's initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! Now. What am I supposed to do about it? For your safety, what the? please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory of the facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov Complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Uh-oh. Oh, what the hell I are you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Ascent is once again continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again. Oh, help me, Comrade Major. I'm falling. What the shit? What the f I knew shit was gonna go south, obviously, because like, you know, the reason why I fucking despise robots has to be a good reason, right? Even in a perfect communist uh, utopian future. Dude, I hate this dude's haircut. Like, literally, I, I hate the way that the fucking main character looks. I'm just gonna say that. It straight up looks like he's balding and he wanted to still have that fucking fascist undercut. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Viktor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him. Bring him Can't to me, sprint. alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Section off out. Yeah, I'm killing chickens, whatever, dude. Yes. Suka blyat, it's chicken nugget time! Cock dealer, cock the bez of wood. I bought a lottery ticket, and now it's time to sail around the world. These guys are gonna come after me, I suspect. Oh shit! Oh, what the f How can I dodge? Oh, shift dodges? Dodge attacks, press L shift while moving. Left behind, suka bliat, f you. God, I hate robots. Oh shit. Wait, that's it. Wait, what the f this guy can tank damage, bro. Officer down. Holy shit. Hey, glove. Yes, Major. 
Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Navalov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Hey, you! I'm coming! You alive in there? That's a robot, dog. Why the f*** are you... He's gonna grab me. Shit! Uh, get away from me! Oh my god! This mother... Kicks, dude. Uh, go f yourself. Get the f off me. <laughs> what? Babushka. What are you looking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Oh God, that accent. I did not see that. You accent should be coming. more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, no ma'am. No sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are what? you? Me? What a conversation. Zena. Granny Zena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Oh. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla! Son of a... We've got 30 seconds. Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, Sunny Boy. Royally fucked. No good. Get over here, Beefcake. Now, no, 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 now. Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? What the fuck? Beefcake? He's been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Do I get a gun? Give me a gun, Babushka. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. Him. You hang on to that key. I got this. I don't like that we didn't do anything there. Like, she just did all the combat. The music is like the most redeeming. Qu what? What a goddamn cluster. I, I can hear you walking around. How do I open this? Bro, this guy never shuts the f up except for when there's a guy asking for help. That's crazy. There are so many dead people here. What the hell is this about? Like, what? Are these trenches? Hey, you there? On the 
Shut the fuck up, bro. Save areas, okay. Saving data. Ashes. May I give you oh, some shots? I'm kind of busy right now. Try what? to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a... Collecting resources en masse. There's a lot. Press F without releasing F. This will collect. Surge are especially dangerous. And they knock you down. Shit on a Wait, shingle. Why didn't you tell me that before? Oh, he knocked me into this fucking room. It wouldn't hurt to collect other resources. Well, at this rate, I won't last long. That first pot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarrow shrink items place? Does he not shut the f up, dude? Holy shit. The game literally has a problem with like audio mixing, sound mixing. It's like overstimulating me, dude. What the f? I've never seen voice lines overlap this much. It's within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci fi times or something. Yeah, got it. See, that's a really good joke. I'm glad that, that they had to feature that. Okay. Order from Comrade Sechinov. All employees, including service employees, are to undergo polymerization. The response to your inquiry, there is my evaluation. Mental state, nervous, impulsive, working at Plitz Plisetskaya Theater has had an obvious effect in the psychological state. Unofficially, Petrov has been losing his marbles for a while now. Granny Zina. The fact that Zinaida Murovkova, aka Granny Zina, is not allowed to enter or approach the sapling warehouse without authorization. Comrade Murayova has previously taken seeds of saplings from experimental flowers. P.S. Do not react to Granny Zina's rudeness. Behave yourselves. Comrade Sechanov about the incident in the germination workshop. Cordon of the hospital where the victim is being treated. Let no one into the ward after the other than medical personnel and Comrade Sechanov. Why'd you turn that thing on, huh? We were ordered to turn it on when you got here, Comrade Muravyova. My orders are to document everything and- You can document your own ass if you want to, but you're not recording me, and let me through. And don't call me Comrade Muravyova. I'm Granny Zena to you, Sonny. Uh, but we aren't allowed to let you through, Comrade- Uh, Granny Zena? Not without authorization. Really? I was always allowed in here before, and now I'm not? Listen here. Either you let me through right this instant, or I'll come back later. And somebody else will be calling me seals in here. What you say? <clears throat> Go ahead. That's what I thought. Dismissed. Holy f this game is so good for loot goblins, dude. Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. Oh shit! It was a spam. <laughs> you know, Italian robots, they deserve it. Come on. Why is that? Why are there horseshoes inside of these? Things? I'm literally picking up horseshoes, man. You never know when you need a spare. Yeah. 
Last night, assistant Sokipnitskev and Lepushkin taped a photograph of Sechinov to Vova and allowed her to wander around the walls in the state. Janitor Nefedova passed out when his Vova looked through at her through a window. Give them an official reprimand. Come on, comrade. This is okay. I missed the inciting incident. Did the USA hack the robot? This game would be fire if the United States actually hacked the robot, but I doubt that that's what's going on. I must do this just in case. You never know. I would like to remind our comrades in the security department that the days of Comrade Stalin's purges are over. It is the Stalinization. What the f Yes, the people carrying out their sentences at Vavilov have committed various crimes. But they are still human beings. And they're still our comrades. How we treat them here will determine whether or not they learn a lesson in their punishment and recognize the error of their ways. Wow! They're saying we are rehabilitating them, re-educating them to understand and abide by the revolutionary principles. They will no longer betray. I've heard a lot of complaints about prisoners being treated poorly. Let me remind you that this is neither a penal colony nor a prison. Be kinder, my friends. How will they get license plates made? I don't know, brother. Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, how this Petrov guy managed to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. Like, it, it's moving, but it's not letting me rotate. I don't know why. Oh. That's such a... That's such a weirdly... Oh my god, that's such a hard to fucking interpret. That's a crazy way to do this. Like, it, literally the least intuitive way to do that. Oh my god, that's crazy. I know I'm a bad gamer and all, but like... That is unironically not a very intuitive way. Is there an enemy here? Good, you haven't experienced locks before? No. Bro, the game literally doesn't even tell you how to do it, which is fine. I mean, I don't even like game care. Oh! What? Oh! So you're telling me a handful of traitors somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union? Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time, during which many more people will die and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. Okay, I'm getting, I'm understanding the lore now. Academy of Consequences is the Prisoner Academy. This is why socialism doesn't work, lol. Yeah, I smell a cover-up, I'm not gonna lie. What? Why are you moving, bro? Chill. Where? Oh, what the f Why didn't they show up? What the f Why didn't they show up on my radar? Oh! Okay, f you! No! Oh, God! I'm so good. Wait, gun! Gun! One bullet! What? Suck my d dude. 
Bro, the bodies keep moving on their own. It's freaking me the fuck out. There are no atheists on the map. As a Soviet scientist, I've always considered myself an atheist. But right now, there's only one thing I can say. May God have mercy on our souls. We've locked the magnetic door to the cable car tunnel. But I don't know how long we can keep the robots inside the complex. Hey, Ivan, is it me? Or did that bush just move? Ivan! Ivan! Yeah, he doesn't, he no longer believes he's, he's afraid. Oh, come on! <laughs> Damn it, why is everything locked here? The emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked with an electromagnetic lock. So I need to fry it with an electromagnetic pulse. How the hell am I gonna do that? Your glove can be equipped with an EMP-generating shock module. A capsule containing the neuropolymer required to install the shock module should be somewhere on facility grounds. Okay, I'll deal with it. It's not that bad. It's not like Something's the end of the wrong. world. Oh shit! The dialogue's like off. The dialogue's bad, but it's not that bad. The English voiceover is bad. The dialogue is not like the end of the world, though. Come on, get up, soldier. <sighs> Great, just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. What? Suka Bliat, even Russia has been impacted by they them non-binary comrades. How many fingers? Uh. Why does why does she have feminist hair? Get the fucking politics out of my video game. Four. Great, now get up. I need your help. <sighs> <sighs> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God <laughs> damn. You could have just said your name, forceps. idiot. Forceps, forceps, forceps. I'm on it. Get me them. What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. You don't need one. Yeah. <sighs> so what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You Wh got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. How did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out! Larissa! I don't want to die! Wait, why didn't you just zap me? Holy shit! Avoid the beam! Wait, what the f Oh god. No! I can't dodge and do the I'm just getting started. What the f Ooh. Terminated. Charles. Where does the shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with it later. How the f*** did I actually figure out uh, what her name is? I, I understand. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. Did she say it? I didn't hear it. I'm sorry, I didn't hear it over the 7 million fucking things that are happening in the game. Anyway, this is where I'm gonna end it though. <laughs>